Let's go! Scary! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> so, we're on the plane. Look at this vein in my forehead, that's crazy. I have a virgin Wii that I'm going to be playing all flight. Look at this little games console. Chris isn't even going to be in this seat. He was economy, but he sneakily moved up. So are never to, ever going to let us do this ever again. Someone needs to report him to the police. Call the airport police. <laughs> we're just about to set off and um, we're feeling good. We're feeling alright. Rehearsal starts tomorrow. So, yeah. Hi. What's happening? It's the first day of rehearsals today and I'm so scared. I'm excited though. We went to visit them yesterday and um, I was, like when they were playing, we sort of watched them play, I didn't have my guitar with me. But I, got, I was really excited to play with them, which is a really good sign. But yeah, I am feeling a little bit nervous. It's quite like intimidating, just because it's such a professional setup. So it's not 100% what, I'm kind of used to, like it's very, there's text everywhere, it's pretty crazy. It's definitely a different experience. I'm feeling my imposter syndrome is all time high, <laughs> but I'm just trying to, you know, just talk well to myself. Oh no, I didn't take my anxiety medication. I'll be okay. Why don't you go up and get, let's go up and get to it. think? Yeah. Besides, we've got tequila too, and that's going to help That's true, I'm definitely, when I get there, when the band come, I'm gonna have a shot. Back up we go to get anxiety medication. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'm not feeling as anxious as I thought I would, but when we went to visit yesterday, it was like I was really shaky. I was like, I didn't necessarily feel anxious like in my gut, I was just really shaky. It kind of felt like I was dissociating a little bit, which is something I really don't want to do on this tour. So, um, but I think it'll be alright. I think the thing for me is just finding out what parts I'm playing and then really working hard on those parts, because at the moment I've learned all of the songs. Like, I've learned all parts of all of the songs, yeah. rather than just learning, like, the exact parts I'm going to play, so today will be beneficial. It's the first day of the rest of our lives! Yay! Scary! Let's do it! <laughs> Can you bring both of the guitars in just a little bit? Drop in picks as always. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the intro, I'm just gonna go right to it. Hey guys, how's it going? So it is the morning after the first rehearsals. I should have vlogged last night, but I was so tired. I just crashed out. Jet lag is, is a bitch. Honestly, the rehearsals were really, really good. Like at the very, at the beginning, I had a bit of a wobble. I think it was, it's just like quite an intimidating environment, if you know what I mean. Not the gut, like the people there are so, so nice and so helpful. The other guitarist, Justin, was a dream. He was so good at like helping me work out the parts and um, you know, everyone was amazing. It's just like the environment is just a bit intimidating knowing how big it is. And I had a little bit of a wobble, like my imposter syndrome properly kicked in where I was like, fuck, I don't think I'm right for this. I don't know if I can do it. I was just thinking, I was thinking about, <laughs> I was thinking about my cat, I was thinking about Luna. Just like, I want to be in bed with Luna so much. I just want to be cuddling Luna. Like, thank God Chris is there. And we sort of took a moment outside and um, you know, just sort of recentered myself. And we went back in. It was, 
it was all right. We sort of went through some of the songs we'd worked on that morning and I was like, oh, actually, I, this is okay. And then um, some of the other members of the band came in, the MD was there and we actually like worked out all the parts and that was really good because then I had like a firm idea of like what I was playing. So it's just sort of getting to grips with the li live arrangements and stuff. But I'm going to try and do that uh, this morning. It's still like, it's, only, it's like 5.30 a.m. or something. Like, I'm so jet lagged. <laughs> we went to bed at like 11.30 US time thinking that we'd wake up at like nine. But nope, still waking up at 5.30. I think it's the adrenaline of it all as well. And I want to get some work done before I go. Today, Colson is coming in, who, you know, is Machine Gun Kelly. Hopefully it all goes well. Like, I'm feeling quietly confident. We had like some really good jam sessions as well, which was fun. Like, everyone is just such amazing amazing musicians and so professional and um i just know i'm gonna learn so so much on this tour and i just hope i can you know live up to everyone's expectations and hopefully exceed them and um yeah everyone seems happy with how yesterday went though so hope today goes well as well i'll check in later <laughs> goodbye to Chris um, like although obviously I'm so excited for this opportunity in the tour it's definitely like part of me just I'm so lucky to have things that I miss so much like Chris and Luna and our house and everything like we literally just moved when I got this so I feel like I haven't really had the chance to like, enjoy the new house and stuff so my freckles look crazy it's going to be tough, I'm going to really miss them. We were thinking Chris might be able to come, but they've said there's not enough room, which is a big, big shame. So it's going to be difficult. This is the longest I've ever been away, and like it's going to be just living with complete strangers and stuff, so it's going to be a proper challenge. And without Chris there, it seems quite difficult, but it'll be okay. I know it will be, and I can't wait to see him when he flies out to see him. How's it going? It's Sophie Lloyd here. In this Techniques edition of Bulletproof Rock Guitar, I'll demonstrate and show you how to play eight of the most powerful, expressive techniques for modern rock guitarists. Most importantly, we'll focus on bulletproof approaches for applying and combining these techniques in a musical context. We'll work on soloing approaches using major and pentatonic scales with bends, vibratos, slides, hammer-ons and pull-offs, three notes per string scale runs, two-handed tapping, sweep picking, and more. Everything is tabbed and synced to the video, so you can slow down or loop any of the video lessons to learn at your own pace. So grab your guitar and let's rock. Yo, they got us like a sweet. Look how swanky this is. The whole hotel is an art museum, but this is my little dressing table. And there's a little lounge area, the TV. I don't know what's, there's a little, I don't know what this bit is. Oh, there's me. <gasps> Let's see if there's a bath. Oh, a rug on the um, 
wall because where else would a rug go other than on the wall oh there's no bath hm. stupid sweet oh i just got to the hotel it's a lovely hotel it's like in an art museum which is really really cool but oh, i just miss like chris and luna so much and it hasn't even been one freaking day Just the idea that I won't see them for like three, four months. It's just, I don't know, it's just really difficult and it's so silly because like I'm in such a lucky position, like people were killed to be here. Excited for the music part, but like the most important thing to me has always been family. Oh, and just to know they're not here, it's just... My parents got me this little kitty too, because it looks like Looney. And I've got Chris's shirt that I'm smuggling. So it's good to have some of them with me. And I've got my pillow from my home as well. So it's good to have a few home comforts, but yeah, it's just really tough being away from people you love. Because usually when you would sort of go on tour, it'd be with a band and a crew crew that you've known for like a long time or like you've been in the band for a while. But these are all kind of like, you know, it's kind of just um, being thrown in at the deep end, being in like another country completely with like kind of a bunch of strangers. They're all so nice though. They were so accommodating last week, but it's just different when you know you're not going home for like a long time oh, i felt so stupid crying there's so many people with like such worse problems and people would like kill to be in my position oh, i just miss them anyway i just ordered room service to make me feel better because i'm a bougie bitch now <laughs> i'll be all right i'll feel better tomorrow it's been a long day of flying and like stuff so yeah oh we got beer in here today oh bougie <laughs> Starting early. We're starting early. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we are here at the rehearsal space, and oh my god, my belly is doing flips. It's a random helicopter, and that's going to be flying all around the arena. And here is the stage. It's on a 45 degree angle, which is actually freaking terrible. So let me take you up to have a look. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Oh, what the hell is this? Have they replaced me with an inflatable already? Are you getting a boner? It's it's tired. Tired. <laughs> That's actually the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And there's a man here, there's a TV man there that inflates too. I don't know what they do. Oh, the stage is terrifying. This is where I stand. Just here. This is where all of our guitars. Shoot at each other. It's a battle. Oh, oh, fab. The... Love that. Song, baby. <laughs> My bum's going like this. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have more fun documenting your first time. <laughs> <laughs> this is so It's so crazy. Like, what the fuck? Look at all the food we get. Look at the floor. The fact someone drew this on the floor. Oh, that's cool. Of course there is uh, airsoft guns because what else would you have backstage? We're definitely in America now. So we just got to uh, the venue. It is day two of production rehearsals. Yesterday went pretty good. It's still um, a lot of things we need to iron out just in terms of like the quick switches, like, and we weren't playing in setless audio yet or anything. And like, um, but the actual set looks amazing. It's like the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's gonna be one hell of a show to watch. Like, I just wanna watch it. Like, I know I'm in it, but I want to watch it, <laughs> you know? It's like the run throughs went pretty good. Uh, I've written solos now, so I feel a bit more comfortable doing them. I know there's some changes that Kels wants to make, which um, I worked on a little bit last night, but I've still got a little bit more to do. Hopefully today we're going to sort out mixes because um, there's a new uh, inner monitoring guy. He just needs to like patch in all of our mixes, get it all to sound right. So we're going to do that this morning and we need to edit a few tones as well. I've, I'm using a Kemper now, which is very exciting. I'm, I'm just like discovering that. The thing is with the Kemper is there's so many options that it's hard you know, it's so difficult to choose because there's just so many. So we're gonna go through that a bit today, get some uh, sounds for each song and yeah, then just crack on with rehearsals. Hopefully we'll finish a bit earlier than we did last night. Last night we finished at like 11 p.m. and I was so tired because I'm so jet lagged anyway. Yeah, overall yesterday went really well and it, playing, it was like my first time playing on an arena stage. It was fucking mad, it was so exciting. I couldn't help but smile like the whole time. It was ridiculous. Yeah, bring on more today. <laughs> Real right. similar. Very similar. Where are you guys? Oh, you think he's back there? All right. I can slowly make my way. <laughs> he doesn't see you yet, right? When he, when he comes down, that's when he's okay, like, Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just have to think of a lot of shit to say. All right, what about you over here? <laughs> nope. Nope. You know, yeah. trying to look like him. <laughs> oh, shit. Evac reporting to base. I think we found, I think we found him. May, I'm, I'm making my way down. Oh, that's so funny. Maybe the pilot at one point would be like, uh, <laughs> making my way down. Music will play at any, any moment. This is Captain Jack. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's a go for Captain Jack Amoff. What's your location, son? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> well, how the fuck did you get in the box? More accent, too. That's a go for Captain Jack Amoff. What's your location, son? I'm getting word from base. We have traced your device. You sit tight, son. We're coming to get you. This is Captain Jack Amoff, and I'm coming inside. Over and out. You think that that's that's good? That was good. That was good. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. kills me. Over and out. Hey guys, so it is day five of yeah. production rehearsals. I have enough. Brooke is dead already. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Kels is just about to fly on the helicopter, so let's hope he doesn't fall. Because uh, then all of this will be for nothing. There it is. Woo! Yay! For the beginning of that song, like, yeah, I've got quite a few switches, so I'll probably hang out in my spot, and then when we do the harmony solo, we could, yeah, all come meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've got a... Um... I was thinking about that yesterday when I heard it, because it is a quick switch. I was almost thinking maybe if you let the, um, the filter thing play it, so you don't have to put pressure on yourself. Yeah, maybe. that quick switch. Right? Maybe, yeah. Just kind of configuring this a little better will keep us from running into each other on stage, because the stage is so dope. 
But sometimes we're just trying to find position, you know? I wonder if there's another way to do, like, some kind of guitar back and forth thing with all of us. And there's the da -na -na. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it'll probably be the way it's been in the past. It'll be like, da -na, pyro, da -na, pyro. Uh, so, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The pictures look crazy with the pyro one. It's just gonna cover the whole stage, so we won't be able to see her walking. <laughs> Justin, you're in a cloud. I'm definitely on track. <laughs> and then you just have to hook up the leads to the positive and the negative. Let's go, the battery, the battery Let's go baby. Right there on the left side, so you just gotta pull off the battery cover. So we just got to Austin and we just checked into our hotel. It is lovely. Here's the bathroom. Still no bloody bar. Don't know what I have to do to get a bath around here, but it looks lovely. Very cool, very futuristic. And we are about to go and get um, birds, which are the scooters, and go to some of the bars. So exciting. I'm going to get dressed and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Three little rolls, three little rolls. Hi. No smoking. Babe. No smoking, no fire, no, no pants. pants. Uh, pull, pull down those curtains in the back, too. Oh, pull those curtains oh, in the because back. Because you're supposed to be wearing your seatbelts. I already know there's going to be twerking and shit going on. So pull down the curtains so we don't get pulled over. There we go! I knew something was going to Yeah! Don't, and don't stand on the seats. Only because if I step on the brakes, you will fly all the way over here and hit your head on this very fucking hard thing. So, no Do that? He's giving head tonight. Oh, wait, that was, did that go by? Wow.